Just be yourself. Do like you always do. Choose your words carefully. Dr. Newton, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm a big fan of your work and your civic champion efforts. I'm Patricia. This is Frank. Once Stephen told us that you were willing to do an interview, we have been extremely excited ever since. You co-founded the Black Panther Party in the late 1960s, and with it came the Black Power Movement. 20 plus years later, do you think the black community is now better or worse at reaching its goals of progress towards equality? Malcolm X said it best. He said, I'll never say that progress is being made if you stick a knife in my back nine inches and plus six. That's not progress. We got this copy from an assistant working at Partel's editing office. Newton has to be stopped. You know, you have an obsession with him. It's not an obsession. What do you call it then? Assurance. Of what? That the guy likes to take a puff here and there? Let me tell you something. The only assurance we have is that the guy's a crack addict. He's more than that. I mean, that shit quick, though. Because where it is, everybody's moving on this one. I can rank for the first one who tags him. I bet. So what needs to happen? Blacks need to continue fighting the government's injustice and violence against them. Newton cannot be allowed to gain any resurgence in popularity of any kind that could potentially put him back in the limelight. The party is just as important today as it was 20 years ago, and will be 20 years into the future. But I've had my time leading it. It's time for the next generation to make their way.